when I tell someone what I do, they go, that's trolling. <laughs> most trolls because most trolls are just like I came here from the reddit men's rights you know or something like that that's that doesn't interest me so I had Instagram and I just hated looking at it every day because it's like look at my friends look at my nice car look at my nice food I can afford and so I wanted to put something really negative and but is also embodying that sort of bragging aesthetic that people have on there so I was like, what if there's someone who murdered animals and he's bragging the same way people are about, like, I'm at having some mimosas right now. Every day I would post a different Google image of a dead animal. Leroy Stevens was the character's name, and he's it, the only thing on Instagram is say, here are some pictures of some dead animals that I killed. And just be like, dead ferret, Wednesday. And that was that was just purely, I'd get like, death threats every day. Someone, another person would be like, you're dead, I'm gonna find you and kill you. German p youth would comment on my photos and wish me dead. And one was, in Germany, we used to have a place for people like you. That place was called Auschwitz. Now get on the train. Uh, one page is I have is just Tom Waits posting demos he makes from his house, you know, giving fans a more intimate look. Uh, well, I just have a terrible Tom Waits impression. But for a long time I've been writing Tom Waits songs and I figured the best way to get it out there was just make a website for Tom Waits music and post it like, here's this rare track, never heard before. And it's, I, I actually, I'm on my second one, I lost the password for the other one. Now the, the old one has so many plays and I wish I could find the password for it because there's just, it, people are looking at it, so I'm starting over. But it's just a lot of like, you know, Oh, like what's one of the songs? Or like I'll cover like a popular, like a Black Keys song as Tom Waits, you know, so people look at it. But just like really, you know. There's a light on the wind. It's like a terrible Tom Waits voice. It's so far off from what, it's more Cookie Monster than anything. And so I get a lot of fan mail or people want to send me like chocolate or tea or something, you know, or they want advice on their songs, so I give him advice as Tom Waits, you know? Like, the bramble and the rose, you know, they go together like fine wine. And they're like, well, very, really smart of you to say that, Tom Waits, you know? Um, other stuff, like, so I have a Facebook page, uh, a fan site for Timothy Dalton, the James Bond actor, and it's run by Timothy Dalton. And so people send me their scripts, most of which are highly pornographic or, you know, just like vampires and also very pornographic. Those people believe it. There's the people who don't believe it aren't going to interact with me. But I get enough people that are writing me every day, you know, just like, I can't believe Timothy Dalton's talking to me this often. He must have nothing to do. A lot of it, I think it's funnier if I'm not being mean to them. It's more that just Timothy Dalton is a really troubled man. He doesn't know how to relate to people or talk to anyone. Well, I got one, actually. Uh, uh, the guy who was the villain in The Living Daylights, I believe, maybe it was License to Kill, he wrote me from his fan page that he runs. He's also like a lounge singer. I forget his name, but he's a great actor. Got like uh, acne marks on his face, but he, he just wrote me and he said, how the hell are you? And I never responded. I was just like, I've gone too deep. I don't know, it's a compulsion now. It's really, it's nothing more than an addiction. It's cost me, like, my girlfriend at the time was like, what if I, if I threatened to break up with you, would you keep doing this? Like, it's, it's put a strain on relationships. Because <laughs> people think what I'm doing isn't immoral. And they're not wrong. <laughs>